We are going to continue our discussion of Java's primitive data types. The data type that we're going to look at in this video is the character data type. The character data type stores all sorts of different symbols. Probably the most popular are capital A through capital Z or lowercase a through lowercase z. Pretty much anything you see on the keyboard can be stored as a character. The character data type is one of Java's eight primitive data types, and it has a range of 0 to 65,535 symbols, or from 0 to 4 Fs if you're using hexadecimal. There is a considerable range of symbols that can be used within Java. Before we can really even talk about the character data type, we have to talk about how you pronounce the name of the character data type. And if you were typing it into a programming environment, you would not say the word character, you would use C-H-A-R. And there's three possible ways to say this. Char as in charcoal, care as in character. And this one is very popular because the primitive data type is character. And so if you just took off the first four letters and pronounced them, it would sound something like care. And then the third way to say C-H-A-R is car, as in a vehicle that you drive. All three of these are valid. I prefer the first use, which is char, and I'll be using that in my videos. So looking at it in a programming environment, we can assign A to symbol of the data type char. Now this actually would not compile. It would give us an error, and the reason is it would be looking for a variable called A. We don't want it to look for a variable called A. We want it to look for an actual character value. And characters in Java must be enclosed by single quotes, as we have done here. And so now when we do this, we will get A as we expected. Now, as we said earlier, characters are not limited to capital letters. They can be lowercase letters, question mark, dollar sign, and numeric values like 7. Again, pretty much look down at your keyboard. Pretty much all of those values can be some type of character, including the space. So when we print it out, we get a literal representation of the values we are trying to print, like a, question mark, dollar sign, and 7. The character data type has a special relationship with ASCII. And ASCII is just a standard by which computers can communicate with one another. Using the ASCII standard, we can type in a numeric value and get back its ASCII equivalent. And this is what the ASCII equivalent of capital A capital Z, lowercase a, and lowercase z are 65, 90, 97, and 122. Not only can we use ASCII equivalent numeric values for capital and lowercase letters, we can also use them for numeric values and other symbols such as exclamation point and dollar sign. In this example, we're using ASCII values, but we're also using Unicode values. And Unicode values will look like what symbol 3 and symbol 4 do. They're going to be enclosed by single quotes, whereas ASCII values do not need to be. And they're going to start with backslash U to indicate, hey, I'm about to start a Unicode value. And if you converted 65 or 90 into base 16, it would be 41 or 5A. And so I'm actually printing the same values in ASCII and Unicode. So as you can see from the table, A in ASCII is 65, and in Unicode it's 0041 or Z is 90 in ASCII, or 005A in Unicode. It's important to note that Unicode values are enclosed within single quotes. So the character data type in Java is used for a wide range of symbols. And you could either use ASCII values or Unicode values to display these symbols. Characters can sometimes be a little tricky because they're going to show their numeric value as opposed to their symbol that's associated with them. And so if you want to properly understand the character data type, you really need to understand what's behind it, and that being ASCII and Unicode. It's also important to note that character values should always have single quotes around them. The only exception is if you're using an ASCII value, like 65, to get capital A. The character data type stores single symbols in Java and is an important part of Java's eight primitive data types.